Well, Poetry Slams have long been a chance for people from diverse backgrounds to share their stories and struggles. They are on show at the National Youth Poetry Slam, which featured some of Australia's best and brightest young wordsmiths. I'm a poet, it's in my blood, and my words are just like floods, both nourishing and dangerous. There's really nothing stranger than people undermining us. I just want my love to be holy in the eyes of God, and I will never stop praying that I can change her mind. Yes, I hit like a girl, and if you hit a little harder, you could too. <laughs> They're just some of the voices to have made it from around the country as finalists at the first National Youth Poetry Slam. Each grain of rice represents a sacrifice and my mom made me mountains out of rice. The exhibition of young people from a range of backgrounds inspired by the original Bankstown Poetry Slam. Just as the contestants are completely diverse, so are the topics that they're talking on, you know, climate change, identity, belonging, faith and tradition and culture, all of those things. This is the first competition of its kind. The 20 finalists aged between 11 and 24 have come from all around Australia to compete here in Sydney. Now the event organisers want to make it an annual event. It's like to push me away and let me come to Australia, which is now my home and my home, where I'm starting to build my future too. 13-year-old Malak arrived from Iraq in March this year. I can't feel that there is a wall in front of me and I can't talk anything. No, the opposite. Um, I can say whatever I like. I can express my feelings in poetry. Indigenous voices also in the spotlight, such as Gomoroi Pacifica man Daniel Mateo from central New South Wales. English is my people's first language, so reclaiming what it is and using it as kind of a weapon to educate, um, bring love, bring light to other people that don't understand. The event hasn't just provided a platform, it's also given a sense of belonging. Tasok Husey, SBS World News.